I found my first guitar nestled under the Christmas tree sometime around my 10th Christmas. It was a cheap starter pack Squire Stratocaster. Nothing fancy, but it got the job done. I played for a while and I even took lessons. However, I just didn't stick with it. I'm not really sure why. I guess I liked the idea of being a guitar player, but I didn't have the discipline to keep playing. I walked that thin line between dream and reality, and I really took that final step. However, fast forward roughly nine years, I found myself at a Rush concert. I remember seeing Alex Lifeson playing 2112 on stage. In that moment, in the heat and the beat of the lights, I just knew I had to play guitar myself. So the next day, I went out with my father and bought a black Epiphone Les Paul. I didn't have a goal at that point, but I just knew I wanted to go and get better. When the school year started up again, I brought my Les Paul down with me. I went in search of someone to give me lessons, and I met Tanner Jones. He works at Palin Music in Columbia, Missouri. He proved to pretty much be the perfect teacher for me, and within a couple of months we were hanging out beyond lessons. The semester wore on, I started to hang out around Palin more and more. Everyone was so friendly, and it wasn't hard to convince myself to go and, you know, just sort of hang out and play guitar. It didn't take long before I met the rest of Tanner's band, the Common Cheros. They also work at Palin. I particularly hit it off with the drummer, Michael Cook, who shares my love of firearms. Going to Palin was like stepping into a family where the common thread was music, and it was great. Especially for someone like me who was uh, kind of tired of the whole school system and ready to go and take a break. Right about the time I started to hang out with the Common Cheros, a friend of mine named Tyler gave me his entire Nirvana collection. I was at a musical lull and looking for something new to learn, and Nirvana turned out to be perfect. The music was just so honest and genuine, a trait that is distinctly lacking from modern music, and also it helped that it was pretty easy to learn. I found myself at first enamored with the Nirvana sound. I bought a Fender Jaguar, then a Boss DS1, and then finally an Electro Harmonic Small Clone pedal which is a chorus pedal. The sort of three essentials need to sign their second album, never mind. I spent months learning how to play the entire thing, learning every pick, scratch, and every detail. It was a great experience, and it kind of taught me how to learn something, because there's a lot of memorization. Of course, it isn't really about the gear, or even the music. It's about the people. Music and playing guitar has brought me in touch with so many amazing people, people I never would have met if I hadn't gotten into the hobby. Hell, I even got some of my own friends back home, like Nick, into playing. More importantly than all that, and on a much more personal level, playing guitar really gave me something to focus on, channel my mental energy into something positive. And that was really what I needed at that point in my life, and, and still do. Guitar just makes me happy. So I guess, in the end, I believe that music can make us better as people, and bring us all together, regardless of what you're into. And uh, this, I believe, 